Hello everyone, Mike here. In this video I will demonstrate how to make a web page using Microsoft Word and then how to upload it to your web space on the internet. Keep in mind that professional website developers use software such as Dreamweaver to create and modify their sites. But Dreamweaver is expensive and it takes a long time to learn. However, if you're interested in learning Dreamweaver, take Professor Kevin Westgevich's web development course here at Delta. But for now, for this course, let's play on your skill set and stick with Microsoft Word. Well, let's get started. Open Microsoft Word, create a new document, and uh, click on Page Layout. Most web pages have a color background or a graphic background. So I'm going to choose background color and uh, choose a color for mine. Next I'm going to choose insert picture and I'm going to navigate to where I've stored all of my buttons and my graphics for the web page. It's a folder named web page and I'm going to click on my title graphic. I would like to center this title graphic so I'll click home and then click on my graphic and go up and choose center. I'm going to click below the graphic, choose insert and now I'll choose some graphics, specifically the buttons I want to include on my web page. I'm not going to worry about uh, programming the hyperlinks at this moment. So here's how to save the document and it's important that you follow these directions carefully. Hit the start button, hit save, and you have to name it index. Not index.html, not index or my index, it's just index. Then under save as type, save as a web page. The top one would work just fine. Then navigate to where you want to save these documents. Now I recommended that you create a folder in your web page folder called HTML. So I'm going to navigate to my web page folder, click on HTML, and click save. And that's it. Now saving your Word document as a web page converts the document to HTML code. And this is apt to change the formatting of your document. Your graphics and your text may move on the screen and this can be really frustrating. To address this problem, I suggest you place your graphics and your text in tables. I'll show you how. Click on Insert click on table, select the number of cells that you would like, and then select the entire table, choose home, and center it. Now drag your graphics into your table. This will keep it organized. To ensure that all tables have the same size, hover over your table, right click on the box and choose Table Properties. Click on Preferred Width and I'm going to set the width of my table to 8. So all of my tables will be 8. Then click on Border Shading. Notice that right now it's uh, there is a box around it. I'm going to choose None. Choose OK and it looks better now. So notice that you can't even tell the graphics are in a table. Let's insert another table. This time maybe a couple of cells and I'm going to center it and I want to adjust the width so I'm going to right click on this little box, choose table properties, Click on Preferred Width and uh, I'll make it the same as the other one. And I want the cell sizes to be different. On the, this side I'll add some text and on the other side maybe I'll put some uh, banners, uh, the advertising banners. 
Don't forget when you finish, you do want to save this. And then later when you come back and make more changes, uh, do it in Microsoft Word and then save it again. I'll come back later and take the border off of my table. Now I'd like to show you how to program a hyperlink. First, navigate to the uh, web page that you want to hyperlink to. Highlight the URL, right click, and copy. Back in your Word document, right click on the graphic for your hyperlink, choose hyperlink, then where it says address, right click and paste in the URL that you're going to link to. And that's it. That should work. To set up a link for your email, right click the uh, graphic you wish to use. Uh, like last time, choose hyperlink and then type in this uh, rather long HTML code where it says Amy Ling, type in your email address. And where it says send me some mail, well, type in the message you would like to see. Press OK, and it's programmed. To upload your index.html and its graphics folder to your web space on the internet, start with Window Explorer. Now the directions would be different for Firefox. Type the URL ftp colon backslash backslash vvga at deltacst.net. Replace vvga with your web space username that I gave you. When the Internet Explorer FTP dialog box pops up, type in your username, the one I gave you, something like VVGA, at deltacst.net. Then type in the password that I gave you that went along with that username. You will follow the directions on this page. Notice it says, to view this FTP site in Windows Explorer, click on Page, and then click Open FTP Site. So do that, Page, and then at the very bottom, click Open FTP Site. Possibly a uh, box will pop up like this one, a security box, choose Allow, and then in a moment, another dialog box like the one you just filled out pops up and fill it out the exact same way. Type in your username like you did before at deltacst.net and then type in your password. When you finish a window will pop up and this is the window that shows all the files that are in your user space on the internet. So if this is the first time, it'll be blank. But in the future, all the files you've moved to make up your web page will be here. So keep this window on the screen. And now let's navigate to the uh, folder where you've kept index.html and the graphics associated with your web page. I suggested that you called it HTML. So go to that folder and uh, let's maneuver the two windows side by side. On one side you have your uh, computer and on the other side we have the internet. Right click on the files that we want to copy and drag them over. And that's it. That's how you move files from your computer to the internet. If you did it correctly, when you finish, you'll see index.html and the index folder in the window that represents your user space on the internet. The last thing we have to do is test it. Let's navigate to your internet website. 
which is deltacst.net slash ecomdelta slash your username. Notice the C and the D are capitalized. That's important. If it pops up, then it was a success. Good luck, and I sure hope that helps.